Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Kryptonian Saiyan here, bringing you guys a review for One Piece chapter 894. And I gotta ask this question right now What the fuck is Gear 4 Snake Man? Like, what the fuck is Gear 4 Snake Man, man? Like, yo, yo, Luffy, Luffy pulling some Natsu shit right now. Like, Luffy just whipping out a new form out of nowhere, a new power out of nowhere, man. Like, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it, because, you know, with Luffy, it's just like, this. the moment I saw this dude just use gear 2 out of nowhere, I, I was just like, okay, fuck it, let's roll with it. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it, let's roll with it, man, because, like, the fights are so fucking fun in this. The fights in One Piece are so fun, there's so much build-up to us, I'm like, oh, fuck me. Like, I like how, you know, you just get this moment right here, right? You get this moment where Katakuri's like, I already answered Gear 4. What are you doing? I'm thinking the same thing. I'm like, Luffy, what are you doing? This dude's already seen Gear 4. Like, there ain't shit you can do. Like, that big Hulkin, uh, Hulk buster shit that you got going on, that ain't about to do nothing. Like, Katakuri's gonna whoop your ass, man. Like, get this shit in gear. Luffy's like, fam, get this shit in gear. I got something for you. <laughs> but backing up, though, backing up, you know, I like how, you know, Rayleigh is one hell of a fucking trainer. Like, I got to give him this. He's one hell of a fucking trainer. That's hardcore. You know, they, they uh, in, a, in a very weird way, this kind of paid homage to Akira Toyama when he was training uh, Goku. And he told Goku, like, hey, you know, you, you and Krillin or Kareen, you know, you guys aren't going to get uh, you. You guys aren't going to get food if you don't complete this training task. I believe that's when Roshi threw the rock onto an island and the first person to bring it back was the one who actually got the food. Like, I thought that I thought that this was something kind of similar there. Only in this case, you know, Oda put his classic Oda humor on it where Rayleigh's like, no, that's my dinner. Stop sniffing that. Like, stop. That's mine. And you get this really cool moment where Rayleigh is looking at Luffy. And he's like, look, a hundred times. If you can dodge a hundred times, you get to eat. If not, you don't get to eat. And you get this moment where Rayleigh tells him, like, I don't care if you're hungry. Do you think your enemy's going to stop fighting if you're hungry? And sure enough, like, Luffy found himself in that type of situation on Cake Island. So I like how Luffy's training prepared him for everything he's going through now. And you get this moment where Luffy actually knocks over Rayleigh's uh, food. And Rayleigh just has this look like, oh, fuck, you motherfucker. I got something for you. And Rayleigh's just knocking him all over the place. And Luffy's like, oh, I can sense rage, Rayleigh. And Rayleigh's like, oh, that's the hockey, too. Now dodge this. And Luffy's like, I can sense rage. It's like, yeah, you can sense rage because you just, just spoiled my man dinner, man. And you get this moment where... After, after Rayleigh, uh, after Rayleigh and Luffy have their exchange, and uh, Rayleigh is drinking while Luffy's eating, now he tells me, he says like, look, you know, it seems like uh, for you when you use uh, observation hockey, you are in tune with the emotions of living people, and I'm like, oh shit, okay, so that's why he heard those voices. Because I want to say either he heard the voice, or I know Shira Hoshi heard it, but I want to say that Luffy heard a voice too on uh, Fishman Island. So, I mean, I was like, okay, that's why Luffy heard those voices. It was either Fishman Island or somewhere else. Luffy heard some type of voice somewhere. And I'm like, okay, Oda's kind of paying that moment off right there. That was Luffy's observation hockey was kind of kicking in. And Rayleigh, you know, he's like, look, you know, only in two and a half years worth of training, you know, I can't teach you everything you need to know. I can't do that. But I can kind of get you on the right track. And he says, like, I'm going to do my best to train you. But, you know, you're going to run into people who they can use observation hockey and they can actually see into the future. And he says, with, with some time to train, you might be able to do that one day, too. And, you know, Rayleigh basically tells him, like, hey, you know, if you come across somebody like that, just what are you going to do to try and stop them? And Luffy says, well, I guess it depends on what they're like. And Rayleigh says, oh, shit. You're in for a world of hurt if you think something like that's going to happen where based on their personality. But I kind of get what Luffy's saying. Like, as he clashes fists with somebody, he can tell whether or not they're going to be a imminent threat or whether or not he can reason with them or whether or not, you know, he just needs to play it by ear. And so with Katakuri, he's actually doing the latter part. Luffy is basically 
dodging the attacks and fighting back based on his own feelings, his own instincts. So I like that. I just like like the the montage of attacks where Luffy's getting slugged in the face. Looks like he's getting some teeth knocked out, blood spouting everywhere. Luffy's blocking attacks. Katakuri, even though Luffy's got uh, hockey enhanced arms, Luffy is still taking on some major damage. But Luffy, to true to his credit, you know, he manages to land a couple blows on Katakuri like the fight never ends so i just like how luffy just demonstrates that 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 uh courage that those those guts and desires to never give up i i think that that's real admiral because you know luffy isn't just fighting for his own pride he's also fighting for his crew i think that this luffy versus katakuri fight is just as much about pride as it is luffy's crew surviving it's almost like those two are uh equally entwined together so i thought that that was a nice bit of writing by oda also like how uh big mom's uh state is just revealed to us where uh, i wasn't crazy she is losing weight because you know uh, capone's wife is saying like look like look at how starved mama is now you know we have to go to fluffy island we can weaken her even more and what's so crazy about that is the fact that Capone's like, hey, you know, why not just go to Liquor Island? Fuck Nami. And, you know, his wife's like, look, you know, we're going to do right by her. We're going to do right by her. I got to pay back that life debt. So I thought that that was pretty cool right there. And I also like how, you know, as the Luffy versus Katakuri fight's going on, you just got this 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 ticking clock where you see like the update for how much time's passed and you get this moment where Jimby is taking orders from Nami and Nami's having him navigate the Thousand Sunny to avoid the attacks. The Straw Hats are all running. It seems like, you know, they're in a very dire situation, but you get this moment where as Sanji's riding on that magic carpet with Pudding and Pudding looks like she's just ready for Sanji to go balls deep inside of her and give her a baby. You have this moment where uh, Sanji looks and says like Luffy's going to show up right in the middle in between an army and a fleet and he says I'm going to save my captain and all over uh, Whole Cake Island you just have Big Mom's people assembling and the questions being asked like are they this worried about Straw Hat Luffy so this is letting me know that Luffy by the time all this shit said and done Luffy's going to have one hell of a reputation you know this is essentially his uh, for lack of better words this is essentially uh, Luffy's Marine Fort moment where Luffy, I ain't gonna say Marine Fort, I'll say Annie's Lobby. This is Luffy's Annie's Lobby slash uh, Impel Down moment where people know that Straw Hat Luffy's legit. So it's gonna be very interesting to see where his bounty goes up from here. But you know, my chapter question for you guys is gonna be related to that. So when it comes to the impact that Luffy's actions on Whole Cake Island are gonna have for his overall legacy, on a scale from 1 to 10, how big of an impact is this going to have? But, as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have an awesome day, guys.